Does your hair... Why is this always so hard? This is how you blow dry your hair. If you didn't know, this is what you do. Does your hair feel like it takes forever to dry? Have you been drying it wrong your whole entire life? Well, my name's Jamie, and today I'm here to tell you 10 helpful tips on how to dry your hair. You guys ready? Let's start. Tip number one, use a t-shirt or invest in a really nice microfiber towel. Both of these are way better than your bath towel. The t-shirt might not absorb as much moisture, but if you have curly hair, this is going to leave your curls really nice and soft. The microfiber towels, they might be a little bit more expensive, but they're totally worth it. You don't want all the extra frizz that normal towels cause your hair to have. Also, don't be rough on your hair. Really, you're just trying to get all the moisture out so that it's not dripping wet. But you don't have to sit and scrunch and scrunch and mess up your hair because that's just going to be really rough on your hair and it's going to be super frizzy. Tip number two, get out of the bathroom. There is so much moisture in the air in the bathroom that you just took a shower in. When you're standing and you're trying to blow dry your hair, your hair isn't getting dry because as you're drying out the moisture that's in your hair, it's just collecting all the moisture that's in the air. Get out of the bathroom. Go into a bedroom, go into a spare bathroom that no one took a shower in. Go somewhere where the moisture isn't in the air and your hair will dry twice as fast. Tip number three, don't leave the towel on your head. So many of us take showers, wrap our hair up in a towel when we get out of the shower and we leave it on our hair as we're getting ready thinking our hair is going to dry. Your hair needs air to go through it. Really, you just wanna dry your hair to get the drops of moisture out of it. So if your hair is dripping, dry it until it's not dripping anymore. And then after that, let it air dry. It's going to dry so much faster than it will leaving the towel on your head. Because with the towel on your head, the middle of your hair is not getting dry at all. Take those towels off, guys and gals. Tip number four, apply hair product to wet hair. Everybody wants to look like a model or a TV star without ever putting any products in their hair. They think that TV people just wake up and their hair is beautiful. It's not true. For your hair to hold the style all day long and for your curls to be soft and for your hair to stay straight, you need to use products. May it be a cream, it could be a mousse, it could be a heat protectant spray, a gel, anything like that, put something in your hair. Protect it from the heat from the blow dryer, protect it from the elements in the air, put stuff in your hair, it's important. Tip number five, invest in a good blow dryer and use attachments. If you're using a blow dryer from when you were in high school in 1999, don't use that blow dryer anymore. Donate that blow dryer to Goodwill for somebody that doesn't have a blow dryer. Instead, go buy a new blow dryer that has a higher wattage. That is going to make your hair blow dry so much faster, it's ridiculous. Not only that, but use attachments. What are attachments you might be asking you? These little things that come along with your blow dryer. This is a concentrator. Concentrators are made so that when you're blow drying your hair, the air isn't just flying around everywhere. By putting this on the end of your blow dryer, you're concentrating the airflow out through this thing instead of flying around the air. It works so much better. Subscribe. This is a diffuser. A diffuser attaches to the end of your blow dryer if you have curly hair. What this attachment does is it diffuses the airflow of the blow dryer to make the air not so harsh on your hair. Because with curls, you really don't want to touch them. You really don't want to roughen up the cuticle layer at all. You just want a real gentle airflow. But it will make your hair so much curlier and lay so much better when you blow dry it. Have you seen one of these before? This is a straightening pick. These things are awesome. You want straight hair but your hair is curly? Attach this to the end of your blow dryer and blow dry your way to a straighter hairstyle. If you have really thick hair and your hair's already straight, this is still a great attachment to be able to work your way into all the thickness in your hair to get the bottom of it really, really, really dry. If you're having problems getting all your hair, section it off and do little sections at a time. It makes it way easier. Tip number six, hair doesn't hold a style until it's 75% of the way dry. There's no reason to dry your hair with a round brush the whole entire time you're blow drying your hair. You can go crazy on it if you want to until it's about 75% of the way dry. Then once it's almost completely dry, grab your brush and then start round brushing and then start straightening or start piecing it down the way that you want it to be. Up until that point, there's no reason to sit and style it. You just want to get it dry. So just get in there and start drying. Tip number seven, use your hand as a brush. Usually it's easier to use your hand than it is to use a brush anyways. You can get tangles out of your hair a lot easier and it won't rip through your hair as easy as a brush does when you're going to blow dry it. 
Not only that, you get a little bit more control because you can feel the direction that your hair is going and you can push it the way that you want it to be instead of using a brush where it's really hard to control a blow dryer and the hairbrush at the same time. Not only that, but you can use your head as a roller. If you follow the shape of your head and dry your hair around the shape of your head, you'll get a lot of body and bounce to your hair. It'll look really cute afterwards, especially if you have like a bob length haircut or shorter. Tip number eight, blow dry your hair from the roots down to the end. From the roots to the end. When you don't do it this way and you flip your head upside down and you blow dry up into your hair, you're causing way more damage than you need to. You're making it frizz out everywhere. It's unnecessary. Your hair will lay so much better if you just follow the way it lays. Go from the roots down to the ends. Tip number nine, over direct your hair for volume. What does over directing mean you might be asking? What it means is everything on this side of the part, I'm going to blow dry going the other direction. Everything from this side of the part, I'm going to blow dry going the opposite direction. Everything in the back, I'm going to blow dry it forward. Now remember, hair only holds a style when it's 75% of the way dry. So if you're doing this the whole time, you're not going to see any volume. Wait until that last 75% of the way and then start doing this and the last 10% when your hair is almost completely dry, start styling it back the way that you want it to be. You're going to see a huge increase in volume in your hair. If you want even more volume, use a root lifter. Tip number 10, use the cool button on your blow dryer. Almost every single blow dryer has a cool button on it or else a cold shot button. This is really important. If your blow dryer does not come with this, throw it out and buy a new blow dryer because it will be totally worth it. Now what this button does is when you over direct your hair for volume, if you hit it with that cold button, it's going to set that volume in place so that you have volume all day long. If you don't care about volume, what the cold button is going to do, it's going to add shine to your hair and close up your cuticle layer. What that's going to do is make the frizz calm down a lot. People's hair gets super frizzy when you blow dry. Calm that frizz down with the cool button. The last thing that you could do with the cool button is if you feel like your hair is 100% of the way dry when you're blow drying, hit it with that cool button. If you have any wet spots in your hair, they are going to cool down and you'll feel them in your hair a lot more. So then you can turn it, the heat back up and blow dry it out the rest of the way. And you don't have to worry about walking around with wet hair. I almost forgot one last thing. Don't use any hot tools on your hair until your hair is 100% of the way dry. Don't sizzle and fry it, you're going to regret it later. So that was it. There were my 10 blow drying tips. Did I leave any out? Did you guys learn anything new? Tell me in the comments below and make sure to like and subscribe for new videos every single Monday. I'll see you guys next week. Bye. So those are my 10 hair, blah, 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 blah. So those are my 10 blow drying tips. Only it's not because it's about hair drying. So those are my 10 tips on how to successfully blow dry your hair. Oh man, I said blow dry again. With your hair and, oh, the battery's done. Oh, the battery's done. Hold up.